Well, the town of Faustin came together as one in recent weeks to give a young girl a night to remember. 11-year-old Lydia Wallstrom was diagnosed with a fatal disease almost six years ago. The time since has been a challenge for everyone in her family, but prom season brought with it a chance for some happier memories. Jackson Bruner has the story of her big day on this week's Community Spotlight. The Wallstrom family started to notice in 2010 when Lydia was in preschool. Her teachers had started noticing that she was losing vision. We knew we were struggling with her eyesight. We were trying to get to some sort of, you know, what's going on with it. A visit to specialists later that year revealed some awful news. Lydia had Batten's disease, a rare condition which starts in childhood, moving from blindness and seizures to an eventual death. For me, that entire first year, it was dark. I, I remember darkness. Not much later, it happened again, this time to Lydia's brother, Drew. I likened it to just kind of getting run over by a truck, like you just get hit, you know, and you're not sure what's going to happen and what's next. And so you try to slowly pick up the pieces just to be able to, okay, let's take the next steps. There's always this grieving attached that's saying there will not be a, a lengthy future. The situation remains an everyday struggle, but in the last few months, Lydia's grandfather had a thought. I said, um, Laura, I've got an idea. And she said, you want to take Lydia to the prom, don't you? I said, yes. So he went to school officials, and with their quick approval, plans were set in motion. The day of began with a trip to the salon. Does that feel okay? And with her parents watching proudly, Beautiful. a stylist got to work on Lydia's hair. She wanted to get her dress on next? For one special night, she was going to be royalty. She is a princess all the way through. She loves the Walt Disney movie. She, she just loves it, loves to dress up, loves to sing the songs. Back at home, it was time for makeup, while Lydia's date prepared his attire upstairs. When the transformation was complete, Lydia's family left for dinner, but not before meeting a special visitor, Lydia's own fairy godmother. <laughs> Following dinner, a surprise sat waiting for Lydia and her date outside, a stretch limo to take them to the ball. The arrival at prom was quick, but the moment of the night came quickly as Faustin's Grand March saved the best for last. Ladies and gentlemen, our very special guest for the evening, Lydia Wallstrom, escorted by her grandpa, Paul Michelson. Hand in hand, they shared a dance, a memory that will last forever. I know that when she's with my dad um, and my mom, there's always something special there in a special relationship. The community has embraced it all. This is classic Faustin. They just um, take care of their own. I mean, it, it, this is not a surprise how this came together. And the family couldn't stop smiling. It's great to, to have her feel welcomed here and, and you can kind of feel the love of the, of the crowd and the group here tonight. This was all by the grace and gift of other people and I just want to be sure they know how thankful we are that that happened. We're exhausted. It's been a long day. I know Lydia's tired, but it we will obviously never, ever forget this. For this week's Community Spotlight, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.